Good day everybody, this is Nell Karoko again and I have one amazing question from my Udemy students about the road lighting design techniques and his question is about what is the maintenance factor or the default maintenance factor in road lighting so the answer for that is 0.67 and I don't know why <laughs> okay so let's go and check it so this is Dialux Evo now and let's proceed directly to street lighting and if we check the maintenance factor it says here 0.67 this is the default even if you change your uh, illuminance class of roadway it will be still 0.67 and even if you change your standard into the latest one it's still 0.67 and if we go to the documentation and check for the glossary and look for the maintenance factor it will tell us about the maintenance factor is according to the cie 97 semicolon 2005 and this is a decimal number between zero and one that describes the ratio of the blah 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 okay it, it did not mention about why it's 0.67 so let's go and check in this standard so this is the book from this is the standard from the book of sll lighting handbook and if you check the maintenance factor it will tell us something different and if we check here there is no 0.67 as per the default value of this dialux evo road lighting okay so there's a, t a table here this is the typical luminaire maintenance factor and it depends on how dirty the location is and how protected your luminaire so for example in the column one it says the luminaire luminaire ip classification and the pollution level so for example you are using um ip65 street luminaire and uh, the area is so polluted like so dirty and so dusty and you can go for the high but your ip rating is say ip65 you can have 0.91 or 0.90 or 0.88 or 0.83 depending on how long the luminaire will be cleaned up say for 36 months cleaning interval you can have 0.83 and if it's for 24 months you can have 0.88 and if it's for 18 months you can have 0.9 and it's really high for a maintenance factor i can say and it's if it's for 12 months it's you can have it 0.91 so if your fitting is high P rated, like IP65, you can place or you can use 0.9 or even 0.91 as your maintenance factor. And that is amazing. So if you want to check your luminaire, okay, so let's go and check one um, road lighting luminaire from Thorn Lighting. And say, for example, this is Zaro and most of the road lighting luminaire is ip65 you can see here it's ip where is it yes it's ip66 it's more higher so if you use ip66 you can now use um 0.91 maintenance factor or the least one is 0.83 as maintenance factor in your road lighting okay so you may be asking what is the benefit or the difference of using 0.67 as the default or 0.91 maintenance factor okay so let's go and try these two maintenance factors and what will be the effect in road lighting i'll just keep this one as 0.67 the default one and i'll just insert one fitting here okay i'll just select random fitting and i'll just drag and drop okay so it will be a default or an automatic and we achieve everything as checked so everything is correct so what i'm going to do is i will just copy this um road arrangement and luminar arrangement and then i will just change the maintenance factor as 0.9 or 0.88 so i'll just go and 
click this road and then I will duplicate road with luminaire arrangement. I'll just click this tab. Now I have a second one with the same specification and arrangement from the previous one. What I'm going to do is I will just change this maintenance factor as 0.91. And let's see the value. Okay. So by this one, you can easily see that when, uh, once you, you change the maintenance factor in the higher value, uh, the Lumen output and all the values on the report will become better. So what does it mean when you're doing your road lighting calculation? It means that, say for example, this is your arrangement and if you change your uh, pole spacing into farther apart, like say 20 meters, See, you can still achieve those uh, values correctly. And if we make it 25, let's see. Okay, then maybe 24 is fine. So this is now the benefits of having a good, ma a proper maintenance factor. This one is 15 meters apart of poles, and this one is 24 meters apart of poles. So what does it mean? This means that if you increase your maintenance factor, you will have a good savings in terms of the quantity of the poles and the quantity of the luminaires. Okay, so the next time you do your road lighting calculation, don't just use the default value maintenance factor from Dilux Evo. Go and check it here in this lighting standard handbook. Okay, so yeah, that's it. So if you want to learn more, go and visit my Udemy course about road lighting design for more information about lighting standard. Okay, see you again on the next video.